What's up and good morning guys. Welcome back to another video. We've got a lot of things planned that we need to get done today. And first things first, we're over here at the warehouse. As you can see, Chris's box has been removed from his truck. This is a four sub box. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm sure Wes could explain this a lot better. And the reason this has been removed is he is swapping out his original subs to some new subs over there. Again, Wes could probably tell you why those are better than those. Not exactly my forte, but to get the new subs to fit, we're talking like an eighth of an inch difference that needs to be trimmed or routed out of the original sub box. So we're gonna be taking this over to Ronnie's right now, having uh, John over there router that out so the new subs will fit. Then we've gotta get back to the warehouse because, well, we've got a new toy that has shown up. And by toy, I mean tool, because obviously like tools are our toys. Something I've wanted for absolutely ever. I am excited to finally own one of these and I can't wait to put it together and show you guys. Let's see if I can one hand this thing. Oh geez, this thing's pretty heavy. I don't know if I can one hand it while holding the camera. Yeah, nah, I'm not gonna risk breaking his box. All right, let's go over to Ronnie's Electronics. Check out this square body. I'm digging the style of this thing. Those American racing wheels look sick. I like it. Dang, looks like somebody went a little crazy with the spray foam there. What's good? What's up, boys? How you doing? Bro, you were looking like a UPS driver. Oh, you know. Looking brown new UPS. Right? What's up, dude? How you doing? Oh, you got the new truck in here. Yeah, you ready? Let's check it out. Let's do it. What are we going to do to the LLY? 415s, blow through. We're going to cut the bed. Get this thing loud as Well, I mean, it's got dual bed liner, so it's like all stiff and ready. No problem. You know where I can get some spray foam? Uh, I can make that happen. All right. Can, I've seen some on a tire out here. Can yeah. I borrow some of that? That's actually like a run flat, so. Oh, there you go. Spray it in your tire? <laughs> One thing I know for sure the LLY needs because. One of the things with older vehicles is I like to make them more modern, so it's gotta have some sort of touchscreen backup camera, mainly Bluetooth for my phone. Perfect. So, I don't know, I mean, take, I mean, you have the same truck, essentially, right? Yeah, yours is a lot nicer than mine. <laughs> but yeah, we can do a double did in here, no problem. What do you think, a little, should we go Alpine or should we? Sony. No, Sony. get out of here. I swear. No. Yeah. No. Why not? You go, really? Yeah. Why? Uh, they actually own the uh, rights to Bluetooth, so their streaming is the best. Uh, CarPlay is very affordable, very user-friendly stereos, and honestly have no, like no return on them, so they work fantastic. But I feel like I've made so many Sony jokes on the channel that if I throw a Sony in here, I'm just like making a joke of myself. Okay. That being said, I'm running a $200 Joy Ying head unit in my OBS, and it works fine. Yeah. So, I don't know, yeah, I mean, I don't wanna go crazy. I wanna kinda pay homage to my old 05. My old 05 had a Kenwood in there, double din Kenwood, and then in the back over here, one thing I like about these older trucks is you actually can put some shallow mount subs behind these seats, whereas the new trucks, you can't. Yeah, you have to go under the seat. Right, so one of the things on my Denali is like I've been pretty much telling Adam as soon as he can figure out how to put <laughs> subs behind the seats on the new trucks, we'll put them. I just don't want anything under the seats. In my old truck, I had two 10 inch subs uh, behind the seats and then they actually raised the seats up a little bit and then my amp rack was underneath the seats. I don't know if we're gonna go that far on this truck, but mainly we do need a head unit, we do need a backup camera and like just make this thing, again, kind of pimped out like a new vehicle. So we weren't supposed to tell them about the blow through? No, we weren't supposed to tell them. Oh. That's yeah, right there, I already got the blow through started. <laughs> we just kind of poured into the cab a little bit, we'll be good. What's up, John? John, I got you something. All right, okay. We'll throw this in your truck, all right? You can have that. Let me get inside the master's brain right now. Right. What's it like in there, John? What's it like in there? Right? <laughs> Modify this thing to fit these. Right? It ain't taking much, right? No, it's I just gotta make a little template and then router it out. Gotcha. Not only will Ronnie's build you a six center console. Right. Hold on a second. This looks real familiar right here. This is almost similar to mine. And we're doing custom headliners over here. The joys of fiber optics, huh? <laughs> a thousand strands. Is it a thousand? Jeez. And then what do you do? You glue them in? Yeah. Poke it. Put them all through, glue them in, and then trim them. Jeez. Just I'm nervous about the Sony, dude. I know you, you're solid. selling me on it. Sony's thing, solid. So one of the things, guys, I'm big on is a volume knob. My OBS doesn't have it. I hate having to like tap, 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 tap for the volume, or tap, 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 you know? Or even, I guess they have the slider that comes up once you start tapping, but I'm a knob guy. Yeah, so this one's got the knob, and it's got a USB on the front with an aux in the front. Obviously, it'll be Bluetooth, but CarPlay also ready for the on the front. I just feel like this thing looks like it's out of the like, it looks like it's out of 2005, you know? 2005's in. I know we're trying to go retro and like- It's in the truck, oh five. Correct, but we can go a little more modern. <laughs> now we're looking a little better. Looking a little better. What's a cam button? Let me bring up a camera that way? So yeah, you would be able to access your rear view camera directly on that. So if you ever want to look behind you for whatever reason. What if we could do dual inputs and that could be a front camera. Ba -ba, front camera. Uh, this one's got a rear. 
This one doesn't do it, but they're higher on ones, do. Look at that. All right, so I guess I've gone away from my knob. We're gonna go, at least these are real buttons. And it's got a camera button with dual inputs, which means we should be able to run a front camera on it, we're thinking. Yep, front and rear camera should be able to work. It's CarPlay ready. So you'll be able to, you know, have your phone on there and, and you know, make it look real safe. There we go. All right, order it up, buddy. Let's do oh, this. Done deal. Yeah, first mods. <laughs> <laughs> Did not come here today planning on it, but that's what we do best. All right, we got Chris's box done. It's in the back. We got his sub right there. Everything fits cool. So we're going to head back over to the warehouse and show you guys our new tool. Well, we got back to the warehouse just in time. It just started to rain or sprinkle. I don't want Chris's box getting all soaked in the back of the truck. What do we got, Sergio? I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm excited. Where is it, Sergio? There's a huge box right here. That's it? That's it. Really? Yep. It is heavy though. Uh, well, carry it? That means quality. Yeah, hopefully. What are you going to set it up? You want to set it up over my place? Yeah, or? I think so. Uh, there we go, buddy. Yeah. You make that look heavy, Sergio. Uh, it is heavy. Dude, look, it's yeah, flattening yeah. the wheel. Yeah, maybe right here. Let's just do it right out in the open. We <laughs> is it really that? Oh, <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's a couple hundred pounds right there. See what we got. A lot of peanuts, my least favorite. Wes is gonna want to know. This is part number uh, 15126. Is that it, Sergio? That's everything? No, you still have peanuts here. I don't, I don't want the peanuts. You can have those. Let's go back to your shop. <laughs> so you guys are probably looking at this pile of parts and wondering what the heck did we just get? And uh, well, we're wondering the same thing because we got to put it all together. <laughs> but one thing I have always wanted for the longest time is some type of CNC anything, whether it be a wood CNC, plasma CNC, whatever it may be. Well. Sergio, working at IEP or owning IEP, comes across a lot of times where he needs to make brackets, parts, uh, control boxes, whatever it may be, right? Power distribution boxes, a lot of custom made brackets for installations, and, and I always wanted something like this. So Sergio came to me the other day, or well, it's been weeks now because we've ordered this weeks ago, saying, hey man, I'm really thinking about buying one of these, I want your input, and I'm like, dude, been wanting to buy one my whole life, have never really had a reason, but if you got a reason, like, I'll buy it with you. So, here we go. We've got the Langmuir Crossfire CNC Plasma Cutter. And obviously this is like all the parts for the CNC and the gantry. The plasma cutter is still at Sergio's shop. We'll bring that over yeah. in a little while once we figure out how to put all this together. And uh, that was the reason we bought the big air compressor the other day because obviously with the plasma cutter, you need an, uh, like an air source coming to it. And all of my compressors I have didn't quite meet the, I think it was 6.9 CFM or 6 CFM uh, rating that the plasma cutter needed. This one is a 7 CFM and ultra quiet. So it'd be nice to have while running in the shop. So me and Sergio are gonna now jump in and try and figure out how to put this thing together. I won't bore you with too much of that. Maybe we'll do a time lapse. <laughs> Sergio, are you ready? You've been watching the instructions on how to put it together, right? Yeah. I've been watching the videos on how to do the CamCAD software. Sergio yeah. figured out how to put it together. So we're on video like, what, 14 now of assembly? Like 100 and something? <laughs> yeah. So far we're looking pretty good. You know, this thing's coming together. We've only had to pull it apart once to uh, re-put it back together when we screwed something up. I believe we've got Chris just showing up over here. Maybe we'll just let him put this whole thing together for us. Right in time, boys, come on. We need, we need everybody jump on board, grab a screw, training grab a nut. Time for training? Yeah, we're training everybody. Holy moly, 
You drove it? Shut up. Yeah. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Brian, what, what's the next modification? Yeah, what are we going to be doing to this thing, buddy? Uh, taking everything off. We're taking everything off? Right, going back to stock. We just put everything on. We got some reassembly going on. Dude, they're upside down. <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> so what's, what's the difference here? We're, we're swapping over to Sundown. We're going away from uh, the original DD audio that Chris had in there. We know you can explain it better than any of us, Wes. We're just we're just experimenting, that's all. There you go, go, go for a different sound. All right, so here's a DD-8. DD-1508, oh. decent, decent little uh, speaker. And then here we got the Sundown SA-8 V3. You got quite a bit more uh, motor force, power handling, excursion. It's so all about how many ferrets though. We're gonna, we're gonna just do a little experimenting and see how they... How, how they hit? Yeah. They slam? They handle the power. They, oh, they better. slap. Subs are all in. Box is back in Chris's truck. Let's get everything wired back up. Let's go, boys. Let's test it. We're ready. So we're kind of calling it quits for today on working on this. We need to get the laptop and everything set up. We do have our plasma cutter down here, which I've never run a plasma cutter, I think, except for like maybe once in uh, auto shop in high school. So this will be fun to kind of figure out. And the table currently is set up as a two by two. Obviously, to me, I want to go bigger than you need at the moment. And then that way you always grow into it. We wanted a four by four table, but some of the bigger name brands are insanely expensive. So we got to kind of work with what we got budget wise. So we went with the Crossfire CNC from Langmuir Systems. They do offer a four x four, which is now the Crossfire Pro, but unfortunately, uh, Sergio from IEP had a project coming up. We needed this soon. And what they do basically is like kind of crowdfund. So they'll release them in batches and they try and raise all the funds up front to basically have a batch manufactured and sent out. And we would have been many, many, many months out of getting a four x four table. And so pretty much we were stuck with a two by two, which is what this is, but we also have ordered the XL kit, which makes this a two by three. Unfortunately, the XL rails haven't shown up yet. So we've set it up as a two by two so we can play with it and mess with it. And then once the other rails come, we'll extend it out to the two by three. Well, one of the last things we got to do tonight is uh, pull my truck out so Brian can pull his truck in. And uh, I guess Wes is going to start the tear down on his lift kit. Hey, don't run over the kids playing in there, all right? I'm going to. Tight squeeze. We're gonna, what's the over under on this? It's gonna fall off a little. Not real confident. Are you confident? No. It's Wait, gonna, fun. Ah, Wes is down there. No, Wes is down there, yeah. not Brian? All right. Whatever happens, as long as it, when it falls off the lift, don't let it hit my truck. A little more. All right, hold on. Why is that so sketchy? Give it the shake test. Give it a wiggle. Jeez, guy. All right, that's that's quite the wiggle. <laughs> hey, I'm getting under that piece of shit. <laughs> Did you fart it under there? Yeah, right now. Hey. That's it. <laughs> so, Brian's look is almost completely off. Yep. Looking great, buddy. Hey, thank you. I love those blue calipers, man. Custom? Yeah. <laughs> what color uh, on the Rust-Oleum scale is that? Uh, I think it's actually, uh, what's that, VHT? Oh, you're going high class. I know, right? Hey, and with that, the night is wrapping up. Uh, Brian's truck is completely torn down, ready for the new lift kit to show up. We've got a uh, good buddy that showed up to the shop tonight, too. Hi, Gunner. Can you say hi to everybody? Yeah, you ready for the late shift? Yeah, I know, I know. Plasma cutter is about as far as I can get today without having the computer and everything. So I'm really excited to get this whole thing up and running and see what kind of cool stuff we can make. I haven't really figured out exactly how that thing's gonna make me money, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not subscribed already, please click the subscribe button now that you do not miss out on any future content. Don't forget to give this video a like, a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out workfortapparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you gotta be willing to work for it. You guys are the best, I'm out. Damn.